this, bro. Right, let's do this. Let's do it, bro. <laughs> it's you and me. Yes. All right. You ready? We, we I prepared have some. some questions for you. Yes, I got okay. some questions for you too. Okay, bro. Let's jam. Okay, let me start. Let me start. Okay, okay. Okay, you ready? All right. What celebrity did you serve? Let me think, let me think. I've only probably... Um, Can also oh, be a movie character. Like how about, how about someone that I like? That, that the one celebrity that I like doing, that mm. I thought I was like, this guy is really cool. Yeah. Uh, many years ago, I was in Melbourne, and then this, this guy out of nowhere on the street just walked in with his bodyguard. Um, it was, um, oh, what's his name? Travis Barker from yeah, 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 Think yeah, 182. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he came in, he actually walked into the salon and goes like, he just wants his mohawk touched up. I was like, so easy job for sure, you. Sure, I'll do it, no problem. <laughs> and then um, the entire time he didn't actually talk to me that much. He was just on the phone talking to his mom while just shaving his mohawk. But um, before what, he what, got What was your like, feeling like for a uh, really like a uh, celebrity uh, douchebag, you know, he's talking to his mom, <laughs> like where's my, where's my attention? Or did you like, okay, the guy's just doing his thing. I think, I think I was just starstruck, you know, at the moment I was just like, wow, man, this guy is so cool. And then I, I remember shaving his side of his head and then I'm seeing like, he has a tattoo on the side of his head mm. and it's like a praying hand. I was like, you know what? I, I need tattoos in my life. Yeah. Oh, you didn't have any at the time? No, I didn't have any tattoos. Really? Then. I was only like 21 then. Next yep. week you walked in, boom, <laughs> full sleeves, everything. <laughs> yep, yep. Nice, bro, nice. Good okay. one. Now, my turn. Okay. Okay. What is currently on your mind? Well, to be honest, um, we've been preparing for a little while to make the largest sculpture I've, mm. I've ever done. And I did some very big ones, but we want to do a piece of 15 meters tall. So that's about double what I've done up till now. And we're going to do it in Dubai, but there's a lot of preparation. You know, we have to do uh, wind calculations on pieces like this. We have to, it's going to be in, in a water, let's say pond. So we have to make underwater platform and fix it to the ground with divers, all that stuff. Oh, wow. Yeah, so it's a, it's a big project and um, the whole team is involved. So it's exciting. That's amazing. Yeah. That sounds, that sounds, there's so many elements that's, that's in what your project you're doing. And then I didn't even realize you have divers and wind calculations and stuff yeah. like that. That's amazing. Who is your biggest inspiration? Well, it can be controversial, I guess. Yeah. But it's surprisingly Kanye West. <laughs> oh, really? Yes. Cool. Yes, cool. yes. He actually is. Um, because not just from his music, right? The way he expresses himself and mm. the level of confidence he has, mm -hmm. I thought like, Oh man, this, that's, it's hard for anybody to um, embrace their ego like he does. He embraces that, but he, he openly expresses like, I, I am a genius. You yeah, know? yeah he, he, he's he doing is. it to the level that maybe not everyone will appreciate it because yes. I think people are always looking for a form of humbleness yes. in someone, mm. especially when they're successful. Mm. Um, he does it in his very own way. Mm, yes, he does. Yeah. He's, he's, he's so open about it. It's something I can never do. I can never be like, look at me, look at me, you know? It's like, mm -hmm. it's the lo it's a completely opposite, but I yeah. appreciate what he does and, you know, I, I understand it. So, so are you more inspired uh, about the, uh, what, what, what you say, the confidence level, how he carries himself as a person or mm. also his, his confidence his level? Yeah. His confidence and how he handles his, his ego. It's, it's, it's amazing to watch. Would you wish you had like an ego like that? Probably not, probably not. I wouldn't know how to handle it. I wouldn't, and be, be, him being able to power. handle it. Yeah, him being able to handle it is like inspiring. So that's cool, amazing man. to watch. Yeah. Nice, nice. How do you describe yourself? I think I'm a uh, very social, maybe even extrovert because I like to have a lot of people around me. Um, the more the better, you mm. know, it's, mm. it's because everybody has a different energy, mm. but um, always positive. Mm. That, that's 100%. I don't really have bad days, to be honest. Mm. Uh, maybe some people don't believe it, but my family knows I'm always, I'm always a go-getter. I'm always positive, always giving energy. Mm. Mm. But um, I think as you become uh, older and wiser, you mm. start uh, selecting people in your life a bit mm. differently. Mm. At the beginning, everyone is welcome. And now it's just like, who is, who is coming to uh, throw a Tinder on my fire, you know, instead of uh, putting water on my fire. But, it's true, um, it's true. Yeah, just a very happy and positive person. And uh, I, I have a million ideas, so it's, you, know, you have to channel it. So mm, I have my good. family for that. Yes, I think at the end of the day, it's, it. it's always going to be family, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, that's what I hope for everyone. For me, it is, to mm. be honest.
Cool. How do you think you have changed the world you work in, your field? In my field? Oof, that's a, that's a tricky question. Have you added something to your field? I think I definitely have. I definitely have added something to my industry. Um, I'll give you a one, it's, it's a long answer, but when I first went back to Perth, because I lived in Malaysia for a couple of years, and when I moved back to Perth, they think they're very good in what they do. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, I don't like to, I don't like to go into sounds and go like, oh, that's not how you do it, that's not how you do it. I felt like I needed to express um, that I can do better or there's other things that's better out there. Not just Perth, that's, Perth, Perth is a very small town. They only, it's like living in a bubble. So everybody said, no, we're the best here, we're great here. But I felt like in the, in the hydrogen industry was like that as well. Yeah. You know, they only know what's happening in the little bubble. So when I decided like, I needed to show these people like there's more out there. And by doing that, I joined competitions. Mm. So I expressed my work showing them like, I'm not showing them like, look at how good I am because I beat you guys, but look at what else there is. Look at this. Yeah, so yeah. I so think, you were taking inspiration from other parts of the, uh, parts of the world and yes. showing it to them to open up their minds for creativity and possibilities. Yes. And yes. Wasn't to show them like how good I really was, but I was showing them like, it was not your, you inner, need to look your inner Kanye coming out? Ah, but that's the thing though, <laughs> it was the younger me as well. I felt there were so many things I wanted to say. You know, I mm. think something I also try to do is inspire young people, show them that art could be a career choice. Mm. Uh, instead of when I started, my mom said like, uh, can't you get a real job? Because, uh, you know, uh, I, 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 I read this artist magazine and like, maybe only 1% of all the artists uh, mm. in the world can actually make a living from it. And I said, no, but I, I feel I'm different. I feel I can uh, also show other people and inspire youth uh, for this field of mm. uh, career even, you know? Not just as expression, but as a career choice also. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. I, I think it's your turn, man. Is it my turn? I, I would love to skip one, but <laughs> it will get me into trouble. What would you say is your spirit animal and why? My spirit animal. <laughs> I mean, what, what, what animal would be uh, uh, powerful, confident, colorful, uh, social? Maybe you can help me with this one. I mean, powerful, and please social. don't say peacock, you know, because that would be arrogant. But uh, a butterfly, a social a butterfly. A social butterfly, it's colorful. colorful. You know, it's transformative. It's a know. bit small though, you know? Mm, we, need, we need like a butterfly, like a, but it's like a loud big enough. one. More like a dragon maybe, More with dragon. colors. Can? Can, can that be my, does it have to be, can it be uh, a made up uh, animal? Why not? A spirit it can animal? Be, it could be anything you want. Okay, yeah. I'll do a multicolored dragon. A multicolored dragon, yeah, bro. yes. Yeah, bro. Yes, awesome. Yeah. When did you know you wanted to be an entrepreneur? Or when you, did you I know I wanted know. to become an entrepreneur? <laughs> <laughs> when, I, when I truly understood what it's like to be poor. Yeah. Because I've been poor before and, mm -hmm. you know, nothing's, nothing is worse than feeling that you have nothing. Mm. And um, being able to be financially stable, you know, I, I'm actually very afraid of being poor. Yeah, I don't I want to imagine. be in that position ever again. Yeah. So I keep finding ways on how I could keep growing and grow from there. I think that's what drives me sometimes. It's, it's very interesting because um, when I started my art career, my parents actually um, had some business problems mm. and they, uh, they had some real troubles there. So we had like, uh, I, I don't know how you, how you say it actually in English properly, but mm. uh, uh, guys coming at the door, you know, ringing the doorbell, coming oh, yeah, yeah. to uh, collect uh, stuff or money. When mm. there's no mm -hmm. money, they come and take your couch, they take your car, they take your everything. So actually, when I started my career, I was already in this situation a couple mm. of years. So I said, this is never going to happen to me or my family ever again. Mm. You know, I've seen this also. So, um, but still, I can really honestly say that my career is not uh, financially motivated. Mm. I wanted to make art. I knew I could do this well. Mm. I know I can communicate because it's in my character. Mm. So I knew I could um, make this a success mm. in the art term, but also in the financial terms. Mm. But I had the same, like I mm. never want to experience this again. Yes. But I never made any art mm. um, on the basis of what would sell well. Mm. Because I have two uh, humping turtles. Mm. It's one of my uh, more well-known pieces, mm. but I never asked anyone like, hey, would you like humping turtles? Would you like humping turtles? Mm. Mm. It's just like, I love that story. I created it and mm. people loved it and mm. bought into that. Yes. So 
I feel I'm connected to the the, the time frame mm. or something like tapped in. Mm. And as are you, mm. you know. I think it's important to yeah really express your work first, you know, because it, it has to come from inside, and you have to believe in it first. Yeah. The money will come. The yeah. money will come. What would you say the best lesson your parents taught you? I think uh, that that that's one thing, and that's work ethic. I work always ethic. saw my parents working very very hard. Uh, they had multiple businesses during my youth mm. and always day and night grinding, mm. you know, uh, staying positive. And still now because we're, you know, we've become a family business and I see them working longer hours than, than the young generation. Mm. We've got a nice crew, guys of 23, 25 years old. They go home tired. Yeah. My parents are going, mm. mailing with China, mailing with the US, different mm. time zones. Mm. They're, they're work horses and mm. that, is something that inspired me and, and, mm. and definitely made my career. Wow. Yeah. That's Number amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. This is a good question. This one. Yeah, this yeah, a good definitely. One. Yeah. Smart people that made this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I have one for you. Um, do you have any motto or mantra that you live by? <sighs> motto or mantra? Um, Work harder, really. Work harder. Work harder. So I, not work hard, play hard, but just work more. Work harder. <laughs> I'm, I'm extremely hard on myself because yeah. I don't think I work hard enough. Okay. I think I can always do more. I can always do better. I overwork myself a you, lot. You, like to the point of like a burnout or that burnout, it's lots of burnout, out? lots of burnout. Really? Yeah. yeah. To the point that my wife wow. was like, you're not working seven days or six days anymore. I'm making you work four days a week. And I said, like, but what do I do yeah. with my time? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I don't know. of course, yeah watch TV no. or do something, you know, but yeah. <laughs> I feel that I, I, when you when you work a lot and you're very passionate about what you do, mm. uh, you know, when I have a day off on Sunday, I walk in the park, I'm like, I have no idea what to do with my life. <laughs> uh, should I lunch somewhere? I just had breakfast. Uh, I'm just like burning time mm. until it's Monday again and I can mm. like legally work again. Yeah, you know, because you have a drive, you're hungry. You're hungry. Yeah. You just want to keep doing it, right? So much to do, so much mm. to conquer, so much to tell, you know, mm. story. Yes. Yeah, man. Good one, mm. love it. <laughs> mm, what is your favorite part of being an artist? Uh, my favorite part is definitely, uh, it's a very nice lifestyle. And, and, and mm. obviously this goes with a certain level of success in, in being an artist, but mm. um, what amazes me is that we meet the coolest people, mm. music artists, uh, uh, a big entrepreneur, CEOs, because mm. you, let's say you have a company that has 10,000 employees. Mm. If you're an employee at a lower level, let's say, you will never have dinner with the CEO because mm. there are 9,000 people between you. You know mm. what I'm saying? Yes. But these CEOs or, mm. or celebrities, mm. they come to us because they love art. They say, oh, mm. come to my home. Here is a coffee. Do you want anything? Like, mm. let's, let's look around. So we have access to the coolest people in the world. That's amazing. Because they love art. Mm. That's it. Straight to the top. Yeah, this one is, uh, I'm expecting a cool answer to be honest. Oh shit, okay. <laughs> um, what is your guilty pleasure? <sighs> Buying sneakers. Yeah? That is, oh. Is it a big collection? Yeah. Decent, decent collection. Yeah? Decent collection, yeah. Um, to the point now my wife actually limits me two pairs a year. So I feel I was your wife doing is really uh, <laughs> tough on you, to be honest, bro. Yeah. No, no, she can trust me. She, she keeps me. she keeps me grounded. She you should have a board meeting. <laughs> <laughs> no, she keeps me grounded. It's good, it's good. I yeah. need that. I need that in my life. If not, like, I'll be out of control. <laughs> wow. Who is your style icon? <laughs> to be honest, um, I have come to the point that I want to go a lot further. Like uh, now, you know, I'm dressed a bit chill casually. Uh, the beautiful people of Köln made me ruin my beautiful clothes. But um, <laughs> to be honest, uh, like tonight when I go out for dinner, mm. I will dress uh, a lot more extravagant mm. because I really love fashion. Mm. Um, and I've, I've come to the point that I feel uh, I can disconnect myself mm. from um, uh, the normal world. Mm. Like if you would wear this coat crazy and I have like mm. pearl chains and stuff, mm. then you know, like my, my normal friends from back in the day would be like, bro, uh, are you okay? And I'm like, <laughs> I'm not living in your world anymore, yeah. man. Okay. Cool. Is that it? I think that's, that's it. Uh, well, I have one more for you. You have too. one more. Yeah. <laughs> did, 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 did you run out of uh, papers, bro? <laughs> yeah, shoot, I have one shoot. more. Keep giving me. I have shoot, one more yeah. paper. What okay. does family mean to you? Family. 
Ah, oh, family is really important. You have kids? Means, not yet, not yet. Not me and my wife. Of. We, me and my wife, we're definitely we're, we're in the planning stages now. <laughs> we're nice feeling man. we're feeling the pressure because we're yeah. we're a lot older now. And you know, if I don't have a kid uh, soon, I have to answer to my family. It's like, hey, what's happening? You know? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah I mean, it's beautiful. Because mm. yeah. as, as I get older, I think I think family is um, that's it. That's that's it. It's just family. Mm. Because when I was young, you know, when I was growing up, it was all about my friends. We all go through that stage, you know. It's like my parents are so uncool. I'm not gonna hang out with them, you know. Yeah, yeah. But as you get older, right, you you lose those friends. They're not that important after all. Family is only. Um, that's only them left, and they'll mm. they'll always be there for you, regardless. Yeah, man. Mm. No, for me the same. It's uh, I, I I work with them every day. I have them around. My brother's kids are here all the time. In the I, studio. I saw, yeah, you saw them definitely. Today, yes. Yeah, yes, it's the ultimate blessing, man. If, if if I see them smile, eating a strawberry, it means the world. Simple stuff, but I can see that. The heart, yes, man. Yeah. yes, especially watching them grow up. Yeah, it must be amazing. Nice man. I think we're. <laughs> I think we did it. Yeah, we managed. Cool. cool awesome. Bro. Love it. Let's hug All it right, out. Man. Let's hug it out, man. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Uh, who came up with these questions, man? Oh. Cool. Uh, All right. <laughs>